said, I tell you the truth. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you.
Dear Lord, through all the changing scenes of life in trouble and in joy, the praises of my God shall still my heart and tongue employ. We come to you today with grateful hearts for all you are doing in our lives in these unusual times. Thank you for your love, shown to each one of us in so many ways. Lord, our faith sometimes wavers. Let us feel your love surrounding us and help us to trust in you completely, whatever our circumstances. Deepen our consciousness of your presence and help our faith to grow stronger. Lord, we know we are a work in progress, but you, God, can still use us to further your kingdom. We are coming towards a change in the season. Nature takes its course, trees change colour and leaves fall in preparation for winter. Nature appears dormant. But we know life is being prepared and when the spring arrives we will see shoots and signs of new growth. Help us to know as certainly as spring will come, you are able to prepare us for new growth. In these seasons of change, help us to remember and be sensitive to others. For it may be a time for us to be positive, but others may be finding the way tough. We pray for our church family and friends, those who are unwell or struggling. Let us keep encouraging each other in contact and prayer. Lord, keep strong and safe those who are in the caring professions, those who are supporting others, those looking after the homeless. We pray for Major Diane that she might find time to rest and relax. Lord, as one more step along the world we go, from the old things to the new, keep us travelling along with you. Round the corners of the world we turn, more and more about the world we learn. All the new things that we see, you'll be looking at along with us. As we travel through the bad and good, keep us travelling the way we should. Where we see no way to go, you'll be telling us the way, I know. Give us courage when the world is rough, keep us loving though the world is tough. Leap and sing in all we do, keep us travelling along with you. You are older than the world can be, you are younger than the life in me. Ever old and ever new, keep us travelling along with you. And it's from the old we travel to the new. Keep us travelling along with you. Amen. Today's reading is rather familiar, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. Time to weep, to laugh and to mourn and to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep, a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that works in that wherein he labours? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. And he has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in our hearts so that no one can find out the work that God made from the beginning to the end. Amen.
Hello lovely people. This next Tuesday the 22nd at 2.30 will mark the end of summer and the beginning of autumn. The posh name of course is the Autumn Equinox. It's the time of balance that happens twice in the Earth's year, spring and autumn, when the sun shines in the northern and southern hemisphere in equal uh, portions. Therefore night and day are equal in their length. As we know that separation of light from darkness is the first thing that happened in creation and here we are today millions of years later when the same thing is happening. Summer and winter, springtime and harvest, sun, moon and stars in their courses above show balance. As humans we too aim for balance in life. We try to balance action and stillness, talking and listening, taking care of ourselves and taking care of others. But we know that balance is temporary and so things can get so easily out of kilter and we have to find ways of regaining our moving balance and that takes effort and work. King Solomon wrote about moving balance of life. In Ecclesiastes 3 he says that there is a time for everything. That mental balance, what we think about, affects our life. Too much worry and not enough trust can knock us off balance mentally and emotionally. The need of physical balance when we don't take care of our bodies, that affects us too in areas of life. Galatians 5, we have this picture of a spiritual and emotional balanced person who has love and joy and peace and patience, who has gentleness and goodness and faith and meekness and self-control. And these qualities are the qualities that are found in Jesus, the perfect balanced person. We all need to learn a little about how to add balance to our lives. And Jesus spoke about this balance. In Mark chapter 15, he says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Therefore, the balance I suggest to you today is love, to love God, to love others, and to love yourself. And when we let God love us as he wants to, then everything else falls into place and life becomes a balance. So I pray that this week that you will find time to balance your life. God, others, yourself. We used to sing an old chorus in Sunday school that said, J-O-Y, surely that must be Jesus first, yourself last, and others in between. May God bless you this week.